everybody welcome back to my channel this is Cheryl with I style design today I am so excited to bring you my new series it's Pinterest inspiration brought to life with Goodwill and thrift store finds I am so so excited and I hope you are as well so let me show you what I found at Goodwill that we are going to turn into our Pinterest inspiration. But first, I want to say if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and ding that little notification bell that so that you never miss an episode. You do not want to miss an episode, believe me, you do not. And if you are a returning subscriber, please make sure to you also hit the little notification bell. I greatly, greatly appreciate your support so far. I hope you will really like this new and upcoming series. So let me show you what I found. So before that, I know I'm just, I'm totally like teasing you guys. So, but first, um, before I show you what I found, I have been wanting this particular item and it is at Z Gallery. And we all know Z Gallery is very pricey. Um, I've bought a few things from there, but not everything from my home is in my home is from Z Gallery. So this one particular item they offer in two sizes, a large and an extra large. So I will put a little photo up right here. So yeah. This little baby at Z Gallery is, it was $100, and now it's on clearance, I think for like $69 or $80, but today we are going to DIY our own, and I found it at the Goodwill. All right, are you ready? ta -da! Look at this, guys. Look, it is a clear shell. And I have been wanting the same one from Z Gallery. Like I said, it's over $80. I found this one and look, look how much that is. I can't read it. What does it say? $4.99 guys, $4.99. So yes, $5 and we are getting ready to dupe this bad baby into a Z Gallery dupe. So, are you ready? I need to change clothes, put on my painting clothes, and then I will be right back. So here we go. All right, guys, we are in my kitchen. I have on my trusty apron, and we are about to get started. So again, here is our inspiration piece, and I will put the inspiration piece on the iCards up here and we are going to get started making this become our inspiration piece so let me pull you over and tilt you down so you can see what I'm doing and let's get started so the items I'm going to be using today are this Waverly white chalk paint, Mod Podge. We're gonna coat it after it's completely painted and some foam brushes. So actually first, what I need to do is clean this little baby up. So hold on and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back now. It's all clean, shiny, and we are ready to get started painting. So let's go. That brush is a little too big. We'll use this brush. So we're going to dip our chalk or brush into our chalk paint and we're going to paint the inside of the shell because we want the outside of the shell to still be glossy. If you can see that or not.
try to go around in nice smooth strokes. Get our outline going here. And if you can see, and again, we're just going all the way around the edge to get our outline, and then we'll go back, tilt this up a little more so you can see how we did. There we go. And then we'll go back in. There's a tip there or something. Hopefully, yeah, it gets covered up. And we're just gonna continue making our outline. And then we'll go back and fill this all in. chalk paint dries really quickly. All right guys, so that is our outline. Now let's get started painting the, all the of the inside. This should go fairly quickly and hopefully we should be done in no time. I don't really want to make you watch this whole thing. So, but I hope you guys had an awesome day today. It is Monday, July 22nd when I am putting this together to bring to you guys on Wednesday. And as I said earlier, this is going to be a weekly series and new videos in the series will be uploaded every Wednesday at 7 a.m. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Believe me, you do not want to miss an episode. I am going to show you how to create your Pinterest inspirations using Goodfill Goodwill finds and also how to decorate them or use them to decorate in your home. And you can get the same high-end look without spending a lot of money. I will tell you that um, I have been on the hunt for something like this for a while and I never could find it. I did find um, one at Burlington, but it was, I say, 14 or $15. It's not really expensive, but I didn't really want to pay $15 either. I mean, that's, I want to decorate on a budget. And I know $15 is not a lot, but it is more than I wanted to spend at the time. So I just kept looking and I am so glad I did because I lucked up on this fine. So when you are out hunting at Goodwill, looking for your inspiration pieces, you may not find it on your first visit. You may not find it on your second, third, fourth, or fifth visit. 
you may have to visit your local Goodwill and several Goodwills more than once to find that item that you are looking for. And I will take you on my journey as I hunt for my inspiration pieces at Goodwill. And you will see that we don't always find what we're looking for on the first try. And you know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So that's what you have to do, guys. If you want to save money and you want to make your home look pretty and high end without spending a lot of money. So here we are, guys. This is our first coat. This is how it is looking. Let me bring you up a little. So yeah, huh? Okay, so here we go. This is our first coat. This is what it looks like from the back. Can you see it? It's starting to mimic our inspiration piece. I am so in love with this. So, so in love. And wait until you see how I use it to decorate. All right, so we're gonna let this dry. And then we'll come back and put on a second coat. I won't make you watch that, but then I'll show you the finished piece once I'm done. All right, stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm back. Are you ready to see the finished product? I did not make you watch the long and boring rest of the painting, but now it's finished. And I really, 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 really like it. So are you ready to see the finished product? Here it is, guys. Oh my gosh, look at it. I think it looks really nice, guys. It's like the Z Gallery one. I know the one from Z Gallery was off-white, but I really like the white look. So that is what we went with today. I'm so excited, I can't wait to get it styled. All right, let's get started. So I have some um, orchids left over from my last, sorry guys, from my last DIY project. And here they are. You will remember these. So I don't buy new flowers. I just take my old flowers that I'm done with whatever I'm, whatever I'm using it for at that time. And then I start over. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to tilt you down and we are going to get started. Are you ready? Here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to glue anything down because I um, really am not sure if I'm going to keep it this way. So I'm just going to dry fit it first. So I'm going to put this styrofoam in here from the Dollar Tree and the grass is also from the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to start sticking these down in here. So sorry for the noise, guys. I'm gonna stick another one right beside it, but maybe up a little bit more than the other. Get it to set in here evenly. And we're gonna take another one and then stick it on this side. Because I want that cooperate. There we go. And let me tilt you up a little bit more so you can kind of see. And we're gonna take another one and kind of stick it in here. Maybe not here. Maybe I'll turn it this way. 
And then we're going to take our last one and take this one out. It's trial and error, guys. You have to fool around with it until you find the look that you're going for. So yeah, I like that one better. So there's that one. And then we'll stick the other one over here on the other side. There we go. You know what? And I think let's get this over a little bit. Spread these out a little bit more. This one over here. Is what we have so far guys let me back up so you can see it this is what we've got can you start to see it coming together yes all right so this is what we have so far whoa This is what we have so far. All right, so let's put some more greenery in here. Maybe I should glue it together, but I really don't want to. I think we can make it work. So let's put the rest of our greenery in here. that will help it sit in here. Let's gather up the loose, loose, loosey goosey, loose, loose. Can't talk today. Gather up the loose ends here. And we'll throw those in there. The only thing about this greenery is that it's really messy. Really, really messy, guys. So, there's that, and I think I am going to stick in now some of these orchid leaves here. And we'll put one on this side. what we have so far guys you see it it's coming together and then let's add a little bit more I'm gonna use some of this moss here stick that in there yeah I like the color this moss is giving. It is giving it a little more life. We're going to use some of these moss ball, moss, <laughs> some of these grass balls, and one here, one here, and one there. So yes. All right, guys. Are you ready to see the finished? project. So I'm going to take you off the stand 
and then I'm going to flip you around and show you what we've come up with. All right, guys, so here is our finished look. I think it came together really, really well. I am really liking it. Let me know your thoughts, comments, suggestions. Do you think I was able to bring my Pinterest inspiration to life? I think so. I think it looks really good really really good so yeah this is our look so now I hope you can see how you can use Goodwill and thrift stores you go out thrifting you may not find what you're looking for on the first second third or even fourth attempt like I told you earlier, but if you keep looking hard enough, eventually you will find the piece that you need to recreate your Pinterest inspiration. So I hope you click that subscribe button and click the little notification bell so that you are notified when I upload my next video. And I hope you come back for next week's series to see what other Pinterest inspiration I bring to life next. So I think this looks really good. So let me show you how I style this in my living room. All right, don't mind the refrigerator. That's my ice dropping in the ice bucket. So here we go. So here we are guys. Here is the finished look here in my living room. I think it looks really, really good. Let me know what you think. But I think it came together perfectly. Really, really like it. Give you a close-up look here again if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in this is Pinterest inspiration brought to life using Goodwill and thrift store, thrift store finds and the shell I found at the Goodwill for $4.99 it is similar to the large shell that I wanted to buy at Z Gallery. It was over $100. So we have used a shell for $4.99 from Goodwill. Some orchids that I already had on hand that I originally picked up from Clarence from Joann's last year. We have leaves also from Joann's on Clarence, our moss balls and the grass and the mossy grass that you see here all came from the Dollar Tree. So all in all, I have put this look together for under $20. Yes, under $20. And I think it mimics my Pinterest inspiration very, very well. It goes really nicely with my Z Gallery canisters. And maybe if you didn't know and you just saw a photo on my Instagram post, you would think the shell also came from Z Gallery along with those canisters. But what a shocker, it didn't. So I hope like you, you like what you see. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe consider joining my channel and joining me on my YouTube journey and come back and see what I'm going to use to make over 
or bring my Pinterest inspiration to life next week. Who knows what it will be, but I think you're going to like it and you don't want to miss an episode. So please subscribe and hit that little notification bell. So that's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you had an awesome day. And always remember, strive to be better tomorrow than you were today. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.